Yo, what's up guys, it's Felix from Giant Lifestyle. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to make $10,000 per month flipping medical commodities. And first off, I'm just gonna share with you the insight and the science behind it. And then after, I'm gonna jump on my whiteboard and break down the numbers for you so you can actually see what it's gonna to take to hit that 10K per month mark. So keep in mind, the profit margins in this business model usually range between 50 and 75% which is really high and really good for a resale business model. Most business models like this, take it for example, e-commerce or Shopify, it ranges between 20 and 30%. And other resale businesses are nowhere nearly as high as this. And if they are, there's a lot of components involved. The beauty about this business is there's literally three parts. It's marketing, pickups, and invoices. So I just picked up these two boxes right here from a client. I'll make a quick $50 profit. And the beauty thing about this is it's repeat, it's residual. Every single 30, 60, or 90 days, depending on the client's plan, I will go back to them and buy more boxes. So it's not a one-time thing where I'm buying a box and then they're never gonna have them again. This might be $50, but you have to understand the big picture of this business where you're gonna have you know hundreds and hundreds of clients who might have two boxes this month, three boxes this month, five boxes this month, and the volume game plus the every month game is what is gonna help you actually blow it up in this business. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to jump on my whiteboard behind me and I'm gonna break down the numbers for you guys so you can see exactly what it's gonna take to get to that $10,000 per month business. Okay, so right here I got everything laid out about what it's really gonna take to do this. So. I would say on average, you're going to learn to pick up 60 boxes per week, which is totally doable even at a very beginner stage. Now, each client is gonna bring you a different amount of boxes depending on what they have. And just today, I picked up two boxes from one client. Now, I would say it really varies. You might start picking up 10 boxes from one client and one box from the other client. So let's just say for average, each client is going to bring you five boxes per week and five times 12 clients per week is the 60 boxes you're looking for. So just to put in perspective, those two boxes that you just seen, I bought each box for $15 and I resold each box for $40 for a $50 profit. Now you might think that, you know, $50 profit, what is that? That's no money. But in fact, the reason why that's so powerful is because you have to think about this business twofold. Number one, it's residual. So every 30, 60, 90 days, they're going to come back. And you have to think about volume. If they have one box and the other 50, 100, 200 clients that you will eventually have on your warm client list keep coming back, you're going to build a huge residual income for yourself. So it's not about how much you profit off one client, it's about how much you profit off all your clients. So what I'm basically going to be breaking down to you guys is big picture numbers. I got the four major brands right here, OTU, FSL, AAP, and BC. So you guys already probably know what that, those stand for, but if you don't, that's One Touch, Freestyle, AccuCheck and Bayer. And you know, these are the 100 count prices. Obviously, the market tends to fluctuate, but just for now, these are ballpark, ballpark prices depending on which buyer you're using. And I'm going to say for OTU, it's 60, FSL, it's 50, AAP, it's 50, and BC is 50, all 100 count boxes. So, like I said before, we're picking up 60 boxes per week from 12 clients. And you know, once you actually nail the marketing system down, once you actually start to dominate your market, you're gonna realize that 12 clients per week is literally playing this game small. But if you got 15 OTUs that you're buying and OTUs and BCs are very common to come in bulk, this is actually the most popular brand. So work with your buyer, talk with your buyer. You're gonna learn that they will literally pick up this box from you, almost not mattering the condition and not mattering the date. But say you pick up 15 OTU hundreds and they're reselling for 60. If you resell 15, that's $900. Same things with AAP. They're selling for 50 times 15, you're making 750. And then across the board with FSL and BC, times 15, times 15, that's 750. Add those all together and you got 3150. Now, like I said, following the price sheet, 
you're probably going to be spending for $31.50 in total revenue for the week. You'll probably be spending somewhere around $1,000 to $1,100, but $31.50 times four is $12,600. Even if you take out the expenses to inquire the boxes, you're still going to be making $8,000 profit, which is a very high percentage when it comes to profit. Like I said in the previous clip, almost all resale businesses have a very low profit margin. This business model has a profit margin near 60 to 75%. So this is the formula, this is the blueprint of how you're gonna make $10,000 per month flipping medical commodities. If you guys have any questions, you guys can, and like I said, if you guys want to connect with me or learn about how this business really goes together, I would highly suggest that you join my free Facebook group to connect with a lot of similar and like-minded people doing this business. It's called Flipping Medical Commodity Entrepreneurs. And there's people in there doing anywhere from, you know, just getting their first commodity boxes to literally doing millions and millions of dollars a year. So if you want to connect with me, if you want to be around like-minded people in this business, click the link below to join the Facebook group. Also, if you guys want to learn this at an accelerated rate, I have a course in the description below. And you know, the beautiful thing about this course and this business is, you know, you can literally make your money back of just a few boxes. That is why when I did this business full time, I used to go crazy when it came to marketing because I knew just off a few boxes, I could make all my money back. So I would spend a lot of money in marketing. I would test a lot of different strategies when it came to marketing because I knew that I literally had a lot of money to play with. So if you guys are interested in that, you can access both of, the, both of those things in the links in the description below. See you guys later. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.